This is problem 415. And we are to find I, we want to know I here, and the power delivered to the 3 ohm resistor. So the power here. And remember that the power is going to be equal to I squared times R here. So we need I and we need the power. And we're supposed to use, we're to use superposition to solve this problem. The first step to superposition is to turn off all of the independent sources except one. So I'm gonna keep the 16 volt source. So this is going to be the only source now let's draw the circuit. Okay. So if you look here, this is one ohm. This two amp current source becomes an open circuit and this 20 volt becomes a short circuit when we turn it off. So this is two ohms, this is three ohms, and this is four ohms. And this is I. And let's call the current coming out of the voltage source I naught. That's the current coming in here. So let's simplify this circuit. As you see here, we have two ohms here and we have four ohms here. These are in series and this four ohms is in parallel with the two ohms. They're in parallel. So adding these two together, we have two times one plus three divided by 2 plus 1 plus 3 and that is the equivalent resistance of all of these resistors. So that is 8 divided by 8 divided by 6 which is 4 thirds ohms. And let's redraw the circuit now. So we have this resistor and we have 16 volts and then we still have this 4 ohm resistor here so 4 ohms and then we have our 4 thirds ohm and this is our current coming out of the voltage source and if we if we take a look here we will have if V equals I times R, right, and we have 16 volts is equal to I naught times R, which is 4 thirds plus 4. These are in series. We get I naught is equal to 3 amps. 3 amps. Knowing that this is three amps, we can use a current divider here, a current divider. And we know that negative I, negative I here, because we've said I naught is this way. So negative I is equal to this resistance over here to divided by this plus this. So we have two plus one plus three, and we multiply that by three amps here. And that comes out to be, uh, this value is negative one amp, or I'm sorry, that comes out to be one amp. So I is equal to negative one amp.
Okay, so we need that solution for the 16 volts here. Now we need to move on to turn off the 16 volts and we'll turn on the 20 volts. So let's draw that circuit. We will draw that circuit for 20 volts. 20 volts. And we'll have 20 volts here. And then we have our resistor, which is 2. And then we have 4 ohms over here. So this is 4, this is 3, this is 1, and this is 2. Okay. So we are still looking for I here. And let's write I naught over here. And these two are in parallel here. These two are in parallel. So combining these, we have 4 times uh, 1 plus 3, which is also 4 plus 1 plus 3. So the equivalent resistance here becomes uh, 4 times 4 over 8. So that should be... Uh, is that right? That's, that's 4 ohms. 16... No, that should be 2 ohms. 2 ohms. 2 ohms. 2 ohms. Okay. So with that circuit, we have this, situ this situation. Where we have positive and negative 20 volts. And then we have the 2 ohm. And then we have 2 ohms over here. So we have 2 ohms, 2 ohms and I naught here. So I naught is equal to 20 divided by 4 since these are in series and get, getting I naught we have 5 amps. 5 amps there. And doing our current divider, our current divider, so I here is equal to 4 this 4 divided by 4 plus 1 plus 3, which is 4 over 8 whoop, times our I naught. So that is 4 over 8 times 5, which is equal to 2.5 amps. So that is I is equal to 2.5 amps. So that is our second part of this question. And now we have one more to do. We have to go back up here and we turn off the 20 volts and we turn on the two amps. We will now draw the circuit with the two amp current source turned on. So with that turned on, we have two volts over here, or two, two ohms, two ohms, one ohm, 3 ohms, and then we have the current source, 2 amps, and that is then connected over here to our 4 ohm resistor. So we have 4 ohms, this one is 3 ohms, 1 ohm, and 2 ohms. So if we take a look at the circuit, this 2 ohm and 4 ohms, those are in parallel. Those two are in parallel. So let's add those two together. So we have 2 times 4 plus 2 plus 4. That's 8 divided by 6, which is 4 thirds ohms. And we'll redraw the circuit. So we have our 1 ohm, 3 ohm, 2 amp, and over here we have our 4 
four thirds ohm resistor and this is three ohms and we're looking for this current I through here and this is one ohm. Now these two are in series this three ohm and four thirds ohm they are in series because the current is the same going through both so we can add those two together and that would be nine nine thir thirteen thirds looks like so let's add these two together So nine, 13 thirds, 13 thirds ohms by adding those two together. And now we can do current division. So I, these, these two resistors are in parallel. They are in parallel. So I is going to be equal to this resistance one divided by the total resistance, which is 13 divided by three, plus one and multiply that by two amps this two amps and by doing that we now get I is equal to one that's two divided by sixteen thirds which is then 6 divided by 16, which is 3 eighths amp. Is that correct? Three eighths amps, yes. So now we, what we need to do to solve for the total I, we have to add everything together. So I is going to be equal to uh, negative one amp plus our second answer which was 2.5 amps plus our 3 8 amp and let's see what that comes out to be Okay, so our current here looks like to be 1.875 amps. Okay, so that is our answer for one part. And now we want the power through the 3 ohm resistor, which is going to be equal to I squared times R, which we have 1.875 squared times our three ohms so squared times three ohms the power through that three ohm resistor is 10.5 uh, watts and that is the solution for 415